fans have heard us say this for a long time and have, have gotten tired of it that you know the, the last three years have been about uh, acquiring and developing talent getting some payroll flexibility um, <clears throat> and now things are changed we're you know we we want we want to continue to um, manage our payroll we want to continue to develop players obviously but um, uh, we really want to turn things around on the field. You'll want to go back to the outfield. How do you see that situation right now? Obviously, Granderson's going to be starting out there. Uh, you signed Chris Young. You've got Eric Young. Ligaris was terrific defensively. How do you view that whole situation in the outfield as it stands today, anyway? Well, right now, I don't think we have too many. I mean, we have promised uh, Chris Young playing time. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't told him, and we haven't said he'll be center field or right field or left field. We said we're going to give you the at-bats. Uh, and that's, that's uh, a commitment we made to him. Uh, Curtis is, of course, going to play. Sure. So that leaves EY and and uh, Ligaris, uh, uh as well. And, you know, we'll sort that out. It depends on some other moves that we may make. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on how things go. I mean, is it conceivable that Chris Young could be playing center field for us and EY and left? Um, yes. Uh, so I think the, there are a number of different combinations that we could we could uh, use. Sandy, thanks for uh, coming on today. All Congrats right. on the Granderson move. All right, thanks a lot.